what is going on everybody how are you doing today good evening good afternoon or good morning depending on where you are in the world i am your boy christian israel and you are tuned into the new creation capital podcast this is a place where we discuss what happens in the world today the stock market and yes digital assets this is the one-stop shop for you to get everything that you need for your day for your christ and crypto because as i love to say Jesus makes you a new you by giving you a new future because in him, you are a new creation, guys. Welcome to episode 179. Today, we're going to talk about the rise and fall of the dollar, the purchasing power of the U.S. dollar, and how does that fit into what is going on in our cryptocurrency digital asset world via Bitcoin and the altcoins. That's what we're going to discuss today. But before we do that, if this is your first time here, please like and subscribe to the channel. I think I need to tell you this is not a monetized channel. This YouTube does not pay me for information. As long as I talk about positive things about Jesus and the Republicans, they are not going to monetize my channel. But what we can do is talk about the reality of the U.S. dollar. So if this is your first time, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video, do the social media thing. You guys know I love to see the amens in the ch- in the uh what do you call that? The comments below. I love to see it. So if anything, give me an amen and let's jump into this video, shall we? Let's go. So I've been seeing these um what do you call headlines across the board over the last few days. You got September 1st, the Fed's recent announcement, the declining dollar in the current stock market. August 28th, has the dollar started its long decline? September 1st, by CNBC, the U.S. dollar could be in a decade-long decline, an analyst say. And then August 31st, the U.S. dollar set to register its fourth consecutive monthly decline, longest losing streak since 2017. We're going to get to that exact point, what happened in 2017 in the crypto market specifically, but I thought we'd look at these headlines today to see what is going on with the U.S. dollar. For you guys that don't know, the U.S. dollar index tracks the green back against a list of other major currencies. It's down 0.08 and traded at 92.308 at the time of this actual report. The speech by Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell last week, right, today's, what is today, Wednesday? Yeah, last Thursday revealed basically a shift that they're going to move to at least 2% inflation. Call that, call it 2% inflation. The U.S. dollar is weaker for traders in general. We see what? Gold going up. What else do we see? We see silver going up. Um, We see the stock market going up and it's not because the stock market is in good shape It's because the dollar itself is going going gone And just like this pro account on CNBC is saying the dollar fell to a key area against the euro Yesterday This is a downtrend that's taken place since March now. We know oil even went to negative numbers We know BRICS and all these different countries around the world are trying to get off the US dollar So could this be a long trend driven by the fed's ease on policies or has this started since 1971 or has this started since 1931 when we knit to the bretton woods um little meeting and started this fiat note system i mean we've been in this for over a decade now we have now over the next 10 years are we going to be this way through 2030 what is the future of the u.s dollar What do you think it is? Do you think we have purchasing power? For you guys don't know, uh, 1971, we had Reagan take us off the gold back system. We moved to a petrodollar system. And now we are moving to a military backed dollar that the rest of the world is trying to get off of. We also know that Donald Trump has the has had the tre- U.S. Treasury take over the Fed? He is purposely crashing the U.S. dollar because we are moving to a new system. The dominance of the dollar worldwide is over, but the question is, how about inflation? What does that look at? 
Is it because the Fed's recent announcement that the dollar is declining? Or has it been since 1971, like I've said? Inflation, bad banking, non-capitalistic country anymore. We are now a country where the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve owns a lot of stock. A lot of stock. The Fed Reserve owns a lot of stock. A lot. A lot. <laughs> I mean, what do you guys think? What do you think? I mean, I believe the U.S. dollar is going to decline. Whether or not anything changes. I think the dollar is over because the world doesn't want the dollar anymore. I mean, if we just look at the purchasing power since uh, Nixon's not Nixon. Is it Nixon or is it Reagan? I think it's Nixon. 1971, right? 1971, that's when we came off the gold gold back system for the dollar. Purchasing power was at 100% of the U.S. dollar in 1971. Just 10 years later, it was at 40%. That's a 60% loss. Ten years after that, we're at a 30% of its full value. Ten years after that, we're at 25% of its full value. In 2011, we are at 20% of its full value. And right now, right now, I believe we're around 15% of its full value. We're almost at zero. Not to mention inflation has gone all the way up. Inflation was under 5%. And what do I mean by that? Is that there were less than $5 billion circulating. Currency, in currency circulating. Like bills. $5 billion in bills. Now there is $1.6 trillion in bills circulating. That's how much we've printed. From January 1971 to June 2018 is the chart that you're looking at when it comes to purchasing power. The U.S. money supply has increased 32.3 times. That's by 84.1% drop in purchasing power in 40 years. But I believe it's going to be 95%. The more you print the money, the higher inflation. Venezuela, Germany after World War II. This is a big deal. Things are moving and shaking. And if we want to continue to look at the purchasing power, let's look. 1913, this is over the last 100 years, okay? 1913, the Fed was created. They went to Jekyll Island, talked behind closed doors, boom, purchasing power at a dollar. In 1931, Wall Street crashed. At that point in time, instead of $100 being $100, now $70 was $100. Does that make sense? 7 to 10, instead of a 10 out of 10, it was a 7 out of 10. Then the Bretton Woods Agreement in 1944 put you at 65 out of 100 as far as the purchasing power. Then the oil crisis in 1973, which was a recession period, we're looking at 22 out of 10. The second oil crisis in 1982, purchasing power here, 15 out of 100. The dot-com bubble, five out of 100. That's another recession. Lehman Brothers, when they dumped in, 29th, in 2009, 3%. Three out of 100. Then we got the tax cuts. And we're like 2.5 out of 100. And we've been expanding on the U.S. dollar since Obama came into office. For you guys that don't know, world power currencies last about 100 years. Around the 90-year point, things begin to switch. You have a new currency, world power, is how it's been in the history of money, from as long as I can keep track anyway. So we are about that time where we are the U.S. dollar is done as a world reserve currency. And then, what's their name? IMF is in October next month is going to vote on the five baskets. I think it's uh, the U.S. dollar, the Japanese yuan, uh, 
the euro, the pound, and the Australian dollar. Those are the five that are going to be reevaluated and mixed around. And then you're going to have special drawing rights that are moving and shaking with this economic shutdown. With oil dropping during another recession here, I mean, what are we to do here? The purchasing power is dying. Now, what does that look like for crypto? If we look at just the dollar since 2017, you remember uh, longest losing streak since 2017. That was the first article we went over here on Nara Metrics. Okay, this was 2017 right here. Let me give you an ellipse. Okay, this right here. Let me move this over for you. Whoop. This is 2017 to 2018, if you can see that, okay? This is where we are right now. If I can make it happen. This is where we are right now. I'm gonna change that color for yellow, okay? This is 2017, this is 2000, uh, right now, what is it? March, April to, what is today? September 2nd, okay? This is where we are. We retraced fully down to 88. Now we have retraced back up and we did not make a higher high. We did not make a higher high. The price level right here hit 103 on March 19th. But before that point, our higher high was 103.85. Instead, now we got to 103.10. We actually retraced to 0.382 and came back down. And we hung around the 50% mark there for a good year and a half. And then we came down and knocked at the 0.786 on the FIB, hitting a low of 91.67. Okay. Now we actually, now let's zoom in so we can see what's going on. Now we actually retraced. Nope, that's not. Let me make sure I get the low. 91.79. Now we have actually retraced back today and bounced off the 0 0.702. Now the question here is, do we continue to roll up to the 0 0.618 for another dollar and a half retracement? Now back in 2017, what we did when we bounced off of here, so this is similar, okay? Right here, we bounced off that same level, okay? We actually retraced back up to 95.11. Okay, 9511, which is going to be the support. So what I'm going to do here for you is we're going to go ahead and draw a horror line, a support line there, right there, 9508. So if we bounce back up, and that took, actually that was September, same time frame, September 2017 to November. Okay, so this would be to right after the elections would be the timing of this fractal. So if I'm going to copy this fractal. You see here, it actually moved down, comes up, drops right back down. So you got a, actually you see a head and shoulders right there. Do, 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 do. It created a head and shoulders. We're going to draw that out for you because I'm going to show you why I'm doing this in a second. I just want you to see it in real time. So we're going to create a head and shoulders here for you. Let me find my, here we go, head and shoulders. So we got left shoulder. There's the head. There's the right shoulder. Now let me get this. Boom. And I'm going to zoom in for you here so you can see that. Right there was the head. Head and shoulders right there. Before it dumped down and came down to 88. Okay. Now the question is, will we do the same here? If we have a head and shoulders here, we're looking at going up to the 0.65, coming back down, going up to probably the 95 back down then here which will put us at January 2021 if we do the same type of movement okay which means we're looking at a retrace back down up down head and shoulders break down and we might I think we're going to break down past that level and come to 7859 I believe that is our retracement here. Now, why is this important? Why is this important? 
I'm glad you guys are stick with me, following me here, a little deeper than normal. All right, let's mark. So here on the left, I've got the DXY 2017 here. I've got the market cap Bitcoin dominance. This is the complete crypto cap, crypto market cap, excuse me, in 2017. We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to take 2017 all the way down. And this is the Bitcoin dominance. And we're going to do the same time before it bounce. Boom. Here's the Bitcoin and we're gonna we're gonna give it that same color. I think it's purple. Well, we're close. That's close enough. So as the dollar dropped, the Bitcoin dominance dropped. Do you see this? Dollar dropped, Bitcoin dominance dropped. As and we're gonna go the other way for this. As the dollar came back up. Move this over. As the dollar came back up here, we're gonna give this another color. Okay, as the dollar came back up, Bitcoin dominance also came back up. Right? So Bitcoin took back over. So in other words, what this means is this was alt season. Bitcoin also happened to shoot up a little bit here. And during here, if you look, as the Bitcoin dominance was going down and the dollar was going down, I'm going to add just one more on top of here. And we're going to go ahead and just look at, we're just going to look at some BTC. Um, why am I, why am I blanking? We're going to look at BLX. There we go. Okay. We're going to look at the same thing, which was going down in 2017. So let's, let's go ahead and click here. All right, so we got that. Now we're gonna go over here. We're gonna do the same thing. Bink. Let's scroll this over. Scroll this over. So here's 2017. We're gonna get this same little purple here. Purple, please. Purple, please. Okay. This is exactly what happened. So as the dollar went down. Bitcoin dominance went down, but look at the price of Bitcoin. It went up, okay? I hope you guys are following me here. Now, as let's click on the yellow here, and we're going to do the same thing. As the dollar went back up, as the dollar went back up, Bitcoin, as well as the altcoins, went down, okay? Now, what we have here is a Y call for accumulation. But what's happening now? Let's slide this over. We see here now that the dollar itself is actually declining again. I need a good color here. What color would there be? Is that like a, a light green? We're going to do this. Okay. All right. Now, we have the dollar going down again and continue to go down. And we already see the Bitcoin market cap dominance going down again right there we can already see it going down and i think bitcoin dominance is going to drop to four so here's what i see for this i think this is the direction we are going as the dollar drops which means brave new coin and not just bitcoin but others as you see bitcoin working its way up so all of this my friends is going to be correlated together and I think it's very important for you guys to understand this, that as the dollar drops, we see it clear as day. Look, as the dollar drops, we'll match everything. Here we go. As the dollar drops, Bitcoin goes up, the Bitcoin dominance goes down, and as Bitcoin is going up, the dominance is coming down, all coins have popped as the dollar is going down. Reverse the trend on the bounce, you have the opposite. Bitcoin is going down, uh, market cap is going up as far as dominance, and vice versa. So if we're gonna go down and we're gonna create a head and shoulder over the next month with the US dollar, come election October, October, November election time with the dollar expecting to fall, 
I expect the Bitcoin dominance to drop, making Bitcoin, not only Bitcoin, but all coins skyrocket. This is what we're looking at. So when it comes to the US dollar falling, guys, we are going to see dominance and everything go up. So when you guys look at a day like this, when you look at a day like this, you need to remember that the US dollar itself just rebound. Look at that. It's just a little bounce. We'll zoom in. See that? It's just a little bounce today. It's just a little bounce. Eventually, that dollar is going to drop and this is going to flip green across the board. Across the board. So for you guys that don't know and you want to sell, you want to buy, you want to do all these things, the charts are telling us everything we need to know. Everything we need to know is that when the Bitcoin dominance is down, the Bitcoin overall index is up, the US dollar is down, that is good for us. Don't forget, never forget, have patience, Things are going to work out exactly how they're supposed to. We're going to go on the three-day here so you can see that. We're going to go on the three-day here. Boom. Look at this. There you go. Clear as day. This is what we're looking at. We'll go on the three-day scale here too so we can see the whole thing. There we go. There is your pattern right there so don't be afraid to hodl you might trade it in that but on these red days do not sell if you have money to purchase these are the buy days but as long as the us dollar goes up over the next couple days i'm going to get rid of this specifically here over the next couple days don't panic uh, come on go away do not panic. It just hits the 0.72. We might see it come back down, but it could go up to 94.20. Another $2. That means we could dip down below 10K. We could dip down below 25 cents on XRP. This could be a big deal. Okay? Just hodl. It's going to happen. We know the dollar's crashing. We see it crashing. We see all the headlines. All the headlines. Again, I'm going to read them to you and then I'm done. U.S. dollar set to register its fourth consecutive monthly decline, longest losing streak since 2017. The U.S. dollar could be in a decade-long decline. Has the dollar started its long decade decline? The Fed's recent announcement declining the dollar and the current stock market. So when you see a red, guys, when you see red, know that we're on our way to green. Know that we are on our way to green. AKA moon. So hodl. Let me know what you guys think below about this. Of course, you know I got to give you your Christ now that I've given you your crypto. And it's going to be pretty simple. It's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to read from you 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1. goes like this now concerning food offered to idols we know that all of us possess knowledge this knowledge puffs up but love builds up if anyone imagines that he knows something he does not yet know as he ought to know but if anyone loves god he is known by god guys you know what this channel is about man this is not a monetized channel I'm going to talk about Christ all day. I'm going to talk about what I, my beliefs all day. It's my channel. That's why I created it, Christ and crypto. So for you guys that don't know God or know the love of God, oh, give it a chance. Time is running out. Time is running out. I'm going to shut my door. Time is running out. So please take the time to get on your hands and knees and pray to Jesus. Get to know him. Invite him into your heart. If you guys don't listen to my Sunday scriptures, give it a chance. Go listen. It's a sermon. I'm not yelling at you. I'm not condemning you. I'm just talking to you about the Bible. Give it a chance. Give it a shout out. And I think this video outside of the Christ aspect, this might be one of the most important videos I've ever done when it comes to the bull run we are facing. 
So please, guys, give me the amen. Shout me out. Let me know what you think about my God, your God, our God, the one God. There's only one God. There's only one creator of all the heavens and the earth. Only one. Only one. And there's only one U.S. dollar. And it's crashing. Let me know what you think. This is the rise and fall of the U.S. dollar. And what does it have to do with crypto? This is the end of episode 179. And I am your boy, Christian Israel. And you are tuned into the new Creation Capital Podcast. Before I finish that, hit the like button. Not hit the like button. There's a, a new Creation Cronies group below. Follow that. Join it. We talk about stuff all the time. We've got DeFi guys in there talking about yam and spaghetti and sushi. <laughs> Then we got guys that are talking about trading, holding, Forex currency. Join the group. It's free. Click the link below. If that link doesn't work, let me know because I just changed it. I'll try to fix it again real quick. Anyway, I am your boy, Christian Israel, and you are tuned into the new Creation Capital Podcast. This is the place where we discuss what happens in the world today, the stock market, and yes, digital assets. This is the one-stop shop for you to get everything that you need in your day for your Christ and crypto. Because as I love to say... Jesus makes you a new you by giving you a new future because in him, you are a new creation, guys. Please remember, God loves you. I love you. You are loved. Until next time, guys, peace and love. God bless you all. Later, guys. You lose your phone, you hit a button, it starts beeping. I don't know how a hundred billion dollars in a Wall Street product just goes missing. Maybe we need to find my CLO thing. Now is the historical moment, the time, not only to fight severe virus, but to shape the system. We have a unique but rapidly shrinking window of opportunity to learn lessons and reset ourselves on a more sustainable path. It is an opportunity we have never had before and may never have again. So we must use all the levers we have at our disposal, knowing that each and every one of us has a vital role to play. Now is the time to think what history would say about this crisis. And now is the time for all of us to define our own role. What is it that would make it so that history would look at this crisis as the great opportunity for reset. The Great Reset is a welcome recognition that this human tragedy must be a wake-up call. It is imperative that we reimagine, rebuild, redesign, reinvigorate and rebalance our world. Bank branches and ATMs will start disappearing across the country as the pandemic shifts Australians further towards a cashless economy. The use of cash has more than halved as many retailers switch to cards and phone payments, transforming the way we use money.